great pleasure to stand. It gives me great pleasure for you all to stand and welcome Antioch East Baptist Church 2017 graduates.
Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the commandment of God, our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, which is our hope. Unto Timothy, my own son, in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and Jesus Christ our Lord. And thou besought thee to abide still at Ephesians, when I went into Macedonia, that thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrine. Neither give heed to fabulous and endless genealogies, which ministers questions rather than godly edifying, which is in faith. So do. Now the end of the commandment is charity. Out of a pure heart and out of a good conscience and of faith undefiled, I have read to you uh, first chapter to the fifth verse of First Timothy. Mm. Amen. 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 That's talking about Christ. Our Father, who mm -hmm. art in heaven, God of Abraham, <coughs> God of Isaac, yes. God of Jacob, yes. mm -hmm. God who made the earth, the land, yes. and the sea. Yes. Well, yes. God who yes. made all things seen and unseen. Yes, he all did. things unseen were made by Him. Well, He even created man from the dust of the ground. We breath for the man, man became a living soul. Yes. We come to you praise and honor for being a good and benevolent God. Thank you. Well, thank you for not trying to fire. Thank you, Lord. But it said, thank you for sending your Jesus to die on the cross. Yeah. We know he died, not for one of us, but died to save us all. Yeah. Well, yeah. and all we have to do is have faith and believe thank that he died for us, and yeah. we will have eternal life. Mm. Yeah. We pray you continue to breath and our each Baptist church. Well, yes. that's our pastor. Well, yeah. that's all our remember, Father. Yes. Bless our business too, Father. Yes. Help us have that love to go from heart to heart, breath to breath. Help us love one another yes. with all our hearts, souls, and minds. And help us love the Lord our God yes. too. Yes. We know that with you all things are possible. All yes. things. Yes. 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 Everything yes. ceases to exist. Yes. Yes. We pray the best of those who are sick, sick and sunny and all That's the right land. Now, Lord. Yes. Bless those in the hospital. Bless those who are starving in America and in other countries, Father. Well, yes. we know that we, we never see them, but help us give them our organization right. and support them. Yes. 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 We, Father, you told us they'll be in the sick among us. Let them call on the elder of the yes. church. Yes. Let them come and pray over them and not to hear but all in the name of the Lord. Yes. But we know that prayer faith that saved the sick. Yes. And Lord, we know you will wake them up and if they have sin, that sin will be forgiven. Yes. Help us. Thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you've given us, Father. Thank you, Lord. Never remember these things that you give us, car, house, clothes. We never remember that these are not ours. Yes. We only for our use, Father. We give yes. you this yes. in your in the body that you prepared for us, Father. Mm. Yes. But help us have faith in your son, Jesus. Lord. And help us love you. Help us to read your word, Father. And read yes. your word, Father. Bring your word to take root in our hearts. Yes. That we be obedient to your will. Thank you, Lord. Thank you again for this day, Father. Thank you again for this service, Father. Help yes. continue to pray to you and lift you up. Please, you say you lift it up. You say you be lifted up. You're drawing me into you, Father. Yes. Yes. Father, we know that we're nothing but a gospel. Thank you, Lord. We know that we are weak, but you are strong. Yes. Father, we know you have provided for all our needs, and you even gave us some of our walks, Father. Yes. Help us yes. continue to give you praise and honor and glory. We have these and minimal blessings in your son Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Say hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Now, I don't know about you, but I came to praise God this morning. He woke me up early this morning. And we ought to be able to say hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Not for me, but because hallelujah is the highest praise. And we ought to be able to just go ahead and start praise this morning, church. Hallelujah. You know, I rose up this morning in the choir in the morning, and the devil tried to attack my body, and he tried to tell me to stay here. You don't need to go to church, but I knew that my help comes from the Lord, so I, here I am this morning, and I come to the
morning, any of these Baptist church? As a new member of Annie of East Baptist Church, Courtesy Gill, I am pleased to read the announcements today. For this second Sunday in the month of June, June 11, 2017, please note that the announcements may also be viewed on the monitor to my right or via our weekly email newsletter. I have a few cards here to start things off. I got one here that says, so much to be thankful for. Especially people like you. Uh, this goes out to Pastor Michael Smith, Women's Day Chairperson, Sister Valerie Lloyd, and Sister Brittany Parker. Thank you very much for honoring me at the Women's Day service. May God continue to bless you in the service of the Lord. God bless you, Sister Alice Faith Barr. Amen. Amen. This one states, I am quite simply blessed beyond belief by the kind, loving, and considerate people in my life. I appreciate you more than words can say. Thank you for your prayers, cell phone calls, cards, and support. Now I really understand the meaning of church family. This comes from our own sister, Mary Hubbard. Amen. And my last card, bless your heart. You didn't have to do it, but you did. Thank you. God bless you all. Um, and I love you. And it's come from Mother Stembridge. Amen. A day of painting. Have you ever wanted to explore your inner Picasso, Rembrandt, or Michelangelo? Well, now is the time. Sign up today for a day of painting with our youth department. Sign up seats are in the Sophie Carey Hall downstairs. A day of painting will be held here on Saturday, June 17th, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Sister Connie Culbert or her niece, Ariel Dothar, for more information. Vacation Bible School. Any of these back to church will have Vacation Bible School starting Monday week, a week from this Monday, June 19th through the 23rd from 7, 8, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. each night. Everyone is welcome, and there will be classes for all ages. The theme will be Glow for Jesus, and based upon Matthew 5th chapter 16 verse. We look forward to seeing everyone for this fun and exciting week. God bless you all, Mother Wanda Miller and Sister Jennifer Harris. Amen. Let me just say, Sister Harris does a wonderful job on this, and I pray that most of you will come out. Amen. Men's Day, 2017 rehearsal. Attention all men, there will be male chorus rehearsals in preparation for Men's Day 2017. We hope you will be able to make the dates. This comes from Brother Levy Alexander, Brother A.J. Leslie, and Deacon Navarrez Burge. Those rehearsal dates are Saturday, June 17th at 12 noon, and then the following Saturday, June 24th at 12 noon. Please come out. Support our own, Javen Duke. Buford will be performing in Disney's Beauty and the Beast at the Legacy Center next month. The youth department will be attending the Saturday, July 22nd show at 3 p.m. We have a limited amount of tickets available for the youth. The cost is $15. Please see Sister Wanda Miller or Sister Karen Gale to purchase your ticket. Young Adult Minister, if anyone is interested in dancing in the Young Adult Ministry, which is ages 18 to 30, Please contact young brother Joshua Sellers via email at jsellers981 at gmail.com. Thank you, the Young Adult Committee. Amen. Now, most important announcement there is, Men's Day 2017. Over 100 of Antioch East members have ordered the official attire for Men's Day 2017. Not be left out. Uh, order your t-shirts today. Contact Deacon Clark or Deacon Bird to place your order. The last day to place your order is June 14th. The costs are $15 for youth sizes, small, medium, and large, and $20 for adult sizes, small, medium, large, and XL, and $22 for larger adult sizes, 2XL, 3XL, 4XL, and 5XL. The colors are blue, white, and black. 
And of course, with the red, I'm pimping, so look really good on that blue background. All right, Men's Day meeting. That will be a Men's Day meeting held on June 18th after Sunday services in the sanctuary. All men of Antioch are asked to attend. This is the final meeting before Men's Day 2017. The men of Antioch East Baptist Church asked everyone to make plans to attend Men's Day 2017, which is June 25th. We are going to have a super time praising, worshiping, and glorifying our Christ and yeah. Savior. Yeah. The speaker for this super occasion is Reverend Des, Mo Des Moines Kennedy, a, a superman in Christ, and he is. This, this gentleman is a, not only is he a preacher, but he's a speaker, motivational speaker, and he's a comedian, and he's a beautiful musician. Hope you'll come out. Uh, so please make plans to attend. Uh, and support the men of NFB Baptist Church. Thank you and bless you all, Chairman Deacon Alvin Clark. Members, we have fellow members who are still suffering through bereavement of various illnesses. Please continue to keep all of them in your daily prayers. And finally, I would like to dedicate my thought for the week to these young graduates you see out here. I pray that it may stick with them and stick with you as they continue to excel in this world. Listen carefully. You can give without loving, but you can never love without giving. Thank God for the courtesy give and for the announcement. Amen. Next Sunday, Father's Day. Amen.
Miller. Amen. Jasmine is the daughter of Karen Hill. Jasmine is the daughter of Miss Rachel Full, Full and Mr. Jimmy Miller, Miller II. The granddaughter of Mr. Jimmy Miller Sr. and Mother Wanda Miller. She has been promoted from pre-K to kindergarten. Jasmine is the third child to Jimmy and Rachel. She is the boss of her older siblings, Jayla and Jimmy the third. Jasmine graduated in May, and guess what? Will now be attending Charles Drew Charter East Lake. Jasmine is at the top, the top of her class. We are very proud of you, Jasmine. Sister Jasmine and all of the other certificates will read accordingly. Graduate recognition. This certificate recognizes Jasmine Miller for outstanding achievement on graduating with honors from pre-K to kindergarten and the York East Memphis Church on the 11th day of June in the year of 2017. Mother Jamie Wright coordinated, Pastor Reverend Michael A. Smith, and on behalf of any of the East Baptist Church, we say we love you, Sister Jack. Amen. Congratulations. Coordinator, 
your pastor, Reverend Michael A. Smith, and this entire church body. We are so extremely proud of you, and we just want you to know we love you, God be with you, and God continue to hold you. Oh, no. 
most as kind is the daughter of Sister Anthony Culbrin. She received her Master of Business Administration, administration degree with distinction from Keller Graduate School of Management in December 2016. Heidi completed her studies specialized in public administration, carrying a grade point average of 3.88. of the American Cancer Society, where she has been employed for 15 years. Connie was born into Antioch East Baptist Church. Baptized at the age of 10 is, and is currently a member of the Praise Ministry, Voices of Deliverance Choir, Mass Choir, and the Youth Department's Christian Youth Forum. The fifth of six children, this professional auntie of 12 nieces and nephews Loves traveling and spending time with family and friends. Amen. Amen. On behalf of Mother J.D. Wright, the coordinator, your pastor, Reverend Michael A. Smith, this entire church body, you make our heart leap because you further your education and God is using you in a mighty way. Amen. To God be the glory. Congratulations. Amen.
wanted to share her trophy that she won. It's really heavy. Ebony's trophy reads John Lewis Diversity Cup. Presented to Ebony Sammy, Harriet W. Grady High School, May the 20th, 2017. Dr. Betsy Bachman, principal. Individually, we are different. Together, we are Grady.
She's not going to be a knowledge anymore. She's been here long enough. Amen. 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 Mother Stenbridge is back with us. Amen. God, he's faithful. Mother Stenbridge is going to give her a couple more weeks, but she's ahead of one of those weeks, and we're just glad to see her today. Amen. With our graduates. Mm -hmm. yes. And I already seen Brother AJ a couple times already. Welcome him back. But he has his wife Cecilia, and I saw April with my Miss Elise with them today. She's downstairs. She's downstairs. We want to thank the family for being back with hey, us. Hey, and, hey. Hey. and in the sermon, they will get into Brother AJ because he's a walking testimony. Hey, hey. But not him by himself, we all are walking testimony. Hey, hey. Hey. Because we don't know anybody else's story, we just know our story. Amen. 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 That's right. Vacation Bible School, we know Brother Thurm did a great job in announcing that, but I want to reiterate about Vacation Bible School. We know that we have Men's Day that's coming up at the end of the month, the 25th, and we are already Deacon Clark and everyone that's assigned to looking forward to those events. But Vacation Bible School. There is misinterpretation that vacation Bible school is for children. It is true it is for children. It's for God's children. Young as well as seasoned. So we're asking for you to put it on your calendar for the week of the 19th. We just ask you to just make that sacrifice and come out and join us each night. There will be snacks served. There will be laughter. There will be opportunities for us to get even closer to God, and we have already specifically designed it for all age groups. Age groups, it won't be 18 to 35, it'll be 18 to 25, and then the 26 to 35, this year we'll have a class, and Sister Connie and Deacon Burr will be teaching that class, so we're so excited about that. Amen. Amen. I'm going to move on, I need a little more loud clapping for Vacation Bible School. <laughs> Brother Levy is asking all parents of our youth in the choir. Amen. He knows it's summer, and so do I as your pastor. That's right. But we're asking you that there's not a summer break unless you're out of town. We still have choir rehearsal. That's right. Now. And he needs for each parent to be dedicated in making sure that the children are here for practice this week. That's right. So I'm asking all the parents and those that are aunts and niece to the parents and to the children, please. Encourage them to be here for choir rehearsal. Amen? Amen. 10 o'clock. At this time, I saw one of our members. Is Sister Doris McClendon still here? Sister Doris, would you come down for a moment, please? Amen. 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 That's one of our new members. Baptized members here at Antioch East Baptist Church. Amen. And as Sister Doris McClendon is coming down, I want to let her know for every one of our members that have been baptized, the new members that have been baptized, we want you to know how much we want to be with you. This is your personal Bible Amen. from Antioch East Baptist Church, the new members class, the mother ministry, and from your pastor, Michael A. Smith. God bless you. Amen. We're going to move along. Time is at hand, and we want to say to everyone again, it's good to be in the house of the Lord. Before we go to our scripture, I would like to share a little funny with you this morning. i like to share with you Jonah and the teacher. Jonah and the teacher, and those that have heard it, that are called you to chuckle once again, but Jonah and the teacher's about a little girl in school, and she's talking with her teacher. She's so excited about what she learned in Sunday school. And she tells her teacher, and we know in the Bible it says fish, but she's a child, and she's so excited. She tells her teacher about Jonah being swallowed in the belly of a whale. And the teacher's listening to her, and she said, that is not possible. She said, the whale's throat is too small. 
The little girl said, I know what my Sunday school teacher told me. And she showed it to me in the Bible. And the teacher said, well, you can go ahead and take your seat. And like I told you, that there was not Jonah in the well, the belly of the well. And the student just wouldn't give up. She said, well, the Bible says that Jonah was in the belly of the well. And she said, when I get to heaven, I'm going to ask him. And the teacher said, what if, he not, what if he's not in heaven? She said, then you will ask him. <laughs> A shaker, a breaker, a maker, 
before I take it. What's so interesting about Paul and Silas, they in Philippi, and they are on their journey. You, you have to remember this is the second missionary trip that Paul has taken. The first time it was with Barnabas, and we know that there was a disagreement. You know how it is that we don't always agree. But it says that we can disagree and still be in agreement. I may not say everything you want to hear each Sunday, but I hope that I say a little something for you to take away each Sunday. You may not feel uplifted every Sunday. You may feel weighted down. But in this particular scripture, I want to give you a different point of view about Paul and Silas being in prison. In this particular period of our scripture, we find that it's midnight. To our graduates, you know there was a lot of nights you had to stay up steady. You realize there was a lot of nights you said, I'm not going to get this. But you got to keep on plowing because you know eventually you had a mark set before you and that was graduation. There was a curriculum that was given to you every time we enter a classroom. They give us what they call syllabus. Yeah. The syllabus was telling you what is the framework for this course. So when the end of course and you start trying to bargain with your teacher, if your grade is not what it's supposed to be, your teacher's going to go back to the syllabus and tell you that it was 30% for classroom participation, 50% was for the test, and then you find the other 20% for just coming to class. Yeah. But how many of you waited to the last minute? And then you go to your teacher and tell your teacher, I need to talk to you. I got some problems going on, and that's why I didn't do so well. You tell your teacher that I've always been a good student, but right now I just couldn't get it. Even with you and the beast in our church, we got this Janai, not Javen, who would be in the beauty and the beast. And Janai was telling us that when she was going up for the competition, she said there were a lot of people in that room that I thought was talented. So when the reward of a degree is given, there's a lot of people that were in your class that had the opportunity. But there are those that just don't seize the moment. Yeah. It takes a lot to put on this captain gown because you have to earn it. Now we have those in Cognito that will go out and rent Captain Gowns and say, I graduated. Yeah. But when it comes down to giving that paper, when it comes down to receiving it, you have to have met the mark. But we have Paul and Silas in jail to shackle because you got to remember they've already built up a temple with Lydia. See, every time when Paul would travel, he would always look for a temple. Because he was a Jew, and you realize, and also he was Roman, a Hellenistic Jew, and he went by looking for a temple where he could always pray. But he came to Lydia and all, he could not find any place to pray, but he found these women that were praising God. And he realized it wasn't just in the building, it was in the heart. Right, right, yeah. right, right. But as we watch the struggle in this prison camp, Paul and Silas was committed to doing the work of God, yes, no matter what it cost. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But in this prison, something was happening when you have your faith in God, no matter how much you're shackled in your life. How many of you are shackled right now with issues? You're shackled with things that you shouldn't be shackled with. But you just don't have the strength to let God be the key and get you out of it. How many of you all are in prison with yourself? Trying to find a peace of mind. We find ourselves trying to blame everybody else for our problems. But you've got to realize that you must study to show thyself approved. Amen. Not only do you need to study, you need to walk in it. Right. Not only should you walk in it, you 
you should believe in it. Amen. This morning, as we are looking at those in the prison camp, it tells us that Paul himself began to praise and sing that know that God will move when he wanted to move. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's going to be a graduation ceremony that's going on in the prison. <laughs> There's going to be some sweat, blood, and tears. Yes. There's going to be some times when you're going to say, I'm about to lose my mind. Well. And I don't know if I can hang on in a little while longer. But as of what I said this morning, I'm coming out. And then sometimes on the rough side, it's not easy. But anything worth having won't just be given to you on a platter. What is ever given to you on a platter that came so easy, that will not be the love and gratitude for how you earned it. Where's your treasures? And where do they lie? This morning, in this prison camp, Paul and Silas are shattered down, DJ, knowing that God, this is an educational moment. This is a moment where we're going to learn how to do this. We're going to learn how to trust in God. And we're going to learn how that only the teacher, only the teacher can give us a passing grade. Amen. This morning, as you hear the chains clacking of your felt, church member next to you. You think that they're clacking, but you'll realize if you pay a close attention, those are your chains that you hear. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Those All chains right. that have kept you in bondage, uh -huh. All right. those chains that have brought the negativity in your life, uh -huh. those right. chains that make you want to give up when you're just at the end of receiving the blessing. Right. Yeah. Sometimes we get the blessing being those material blessings. But you got to get your mind in a place where it's a spiritual blessing. Because, see, material things will fade. And if you don't dust them every day, you're going to find dust everywhere. But one thing about the spiritual blessing, it calls for dusting as well. It causes for you to reach in. It causes you to polish it up with God's Word. But I ask you, are you a staker? Yeah. Are you a breaker? Are you a maker or are you a taker? You ask me, what does that have to do with graduation? But inside this prison, we see where God is shaking up some things. We see where God is breaking down some things. We see where God is making some things. And we see where God is taking some things. Our graduates, I ask you today, how do you know if you are a breaker? How do you know if you're a shaker? between the two. Well, let's talk about the shaker. There's two kinds. There's one shaker that shake up everything. They never satisfy. They want to keep mess going. Shake it up because they're just not content. They are those that want to shake up things that are supposed to be right. There are things that want to shake up because they just have the power to shake. But then when you find yourself in a shake up moment, you find yourself in a moment of displeasure. Right. When you find yourself trying to shake it up, you didn't go to God and ask about the shaking. You just don't have the patience to wait and see how God is going to do it. So you go in and start shaking it around. And when it's thing you know everything is falling to pieces. But then there's a shaker that every time you move, they will shake things up possibly. Every time somebody says, this is a mess that's going on, another person says, this is a blessing that is going on. Every time they say, we will never do it, somebody says, we already have, you just haven't seen it. Oh, the shaker. You ask yourself, that's your personality. Do you have a problem being still and waiting on God? Do you have a problem allowing God to do his work because you just got to put your shaking machine in his word. Oh, right. uh, this morning, Paul and Silas are sitting there. God says, let my will be done and you watch an earthquake comes about. It shakes it up. Yeah, yeah. They're chained, but it shakes it up. But then they go to breaker. Are you a breaker? Every time you see someone trying to build, you're just not satisfied, you got to go and destruct. Are you a 
awaken every time you notice something that is great has happened? You're chiseling away and you're breaking it down? You're breaking God's word down? Yeah. <coughs> Are you that kind of breaker? You say, I'm going to break Satan down. I'm going to keep Satan from trying to mess up God's work. Are you going to be one that's going to break it every time you come yeah. my way? Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. Yeah. you 
in your graduating robe. They would give you a robe that was filled and stained with blood. They're going to give you a crown. Your captain gown is going to be a, a crown of thorns. But you got to understand this is a part of the graduation ceremony. And they said that when you come marching down, they're going to say, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. But then he said that you got to keep on marching because this is a time of commissness exercise. And as Jesus is moving down the road, and as he go down the aisle, and he's waiting to get his blessing, he realized that I got to give it up in order to graduate. So as he coming down and the blood is dripping from his robe, his gown and his cap that he has on and the crown is pierced into his brain. He doesn't give up because he realized that, first of all, I had to be. One of those that stood up and said, I am he. He identifies himself and as he's marching in and giving God the praises. Yeah. He says, first you got to know yourself. Yeah. Know that you are a child of God. Yeah. And know that no one can take that from you. Okay. The second thing you got to know is that everybody is not the same. Right. We all learn differently. Yeah. Some people are audio, some people are visually. But the thing is that we have to make sure we comprehend. Yeah. Yeah. But there is this commencement exercise that's going on and Blood is dripping all over the place. But he doesn't realize that the diploma is being signed. Yeah. When he come down, he said he's going to say that I died for them all. But he's going to say that when they nailed me to the cross, I was still working on getting my diploma. And as they continue to say Hosanna in the beginning, and they say crucify him in the end, that was a part of my test. And I passed that exam. But all this morning, all this morning when they nailed him and they made sure that it was secure, they said that it got a little dark sometimes. They even said in there there was a shaking up moment. It said the earth started to tremble. And we found that there was a splitting in the sanctuary. But still, the commencement was taking this course. But it comes a point in our lives with Jesus. Jesus gave it up uh -huh. in order for you to graduate. Uh -huh. This morning, are you able to say that I have graduated to another level for Jesus? Uh -huh. Are you loving better than you loved yesterday? Uh -huh. Are you tolerating more than you did yesterday? Uh -huh. Are you coming in a more of a personal relationship with God today than you were yesterday? Yeah. Where are you for your commencement exercise? Oh, thank you. But there's a day that's coming Ooh, when no man and no woman will be able to enter in. Yeah. Unless DeAndre, they have gone forth and they said, I am graduating for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I want my graduates to know that we're so proud of them for everything they've done. Uh -huh. But we also want to let them know you, no matter what you accomplish, no matter how many singles you have up on your wall, if you don't have a single born again degree, you might as well say, everything else will be sick and sick. So this morning I'm asking you, are you going to give your life to Christ? Are you tired of being that type of shaker, breaker, maker and taker that's not of God? But if you give God your life, you will find that Jesus was and will always be the shaker. He will shake your life up like it's never been shook before. He will break you down and build you up all over again. He will make you whole and everything will be new. And he will take away every sin that you have and said that he will make you white as snow. So this morning I'm asking you for those that have not given your life to him. This is a time to graduate. It's a time to come on down the aisle and say I'm ready to give it to God. It's a time to say if you got kept back one grade and you said I wasn't ready to move on to Jesus. It's a time to come down and say I'm going to catch up now. You knew that you missed school. It's time for you to get it right here today. So I'm asking you, what are you? What are you? And who are you? Oh, uh, don't miss your graduation day. Don't miss the day today that you can come down and you will be able to put on your cap 
to hell. But there's a time that will come where we're going to be able to walk around God's heaven all day. Yeah. But if you don't have your degree to get in there, I'm sorry. There won't be another time. So surrender who you are for Jesus. Give him your life. Call on his name. Ask him to come into you right now. Your degree, you should be teaching someone else how to get their degree. Oh, I'm proud of our graduates this morning. But there's no graduation like Christ. Graduated from that cross. Oh, grade. Grade. Oh, we talk about that grade. But it says death. Where's your sting? Grave, where's your victory? But God is waiting for you. Search yourself. To God be the glory. Our doors are open. Ask the choir to give us a selection.